very touching moment for me when I think about the fact that I didn't come to this issue perfect. And yet you all allowed me to grow. You loved me anyway. You supported me. And you helped me get better on this issue. And for that, I am forever, forever indebted to you. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, Abby is probably going to go apoplectic right now. So somebody, whoever's next to Abby, just hold her, tell her it's going to be all right. I'm not going to preach long. But I am a minister of the gospel, and I do have to say something. And I want to point out my good friend, Robin Gorsaline in the back. Robin, hold your hand up. on the challenge to his, to his presidency of people of faith and equality of Virginia to bring down the ramparts in the General Assembly. He is bringing on what some folks would call the religious left. He is bringing on the, that voice of faith, that voice of, uh, of uh, reasonableness to try to counterbalance that empire theology that we have at the General Assembly, that Pat Robertson theology that we have at the General Assembly. Every Tuesday, uh, Robin and I would stop and pray for a few moments and we would have, you know, just fellowship. I encourage you all to help Robin. If you belong to my faith tradition, and even if you don't, it's people of faith, not people who are Christian, not people who are Muslim, it's people who have faith for equality in Virginia. I encourage you to help Robin because the very last vestige that we have to tear down is this notion that somehow those folks who choose to love someone who is exactly like them from a sexual perspective are not children of God. You are children of the Most High God. God loves you. He cherishes you. And that is the last battle that we have to fight. Robin needs your help. And Robin, thank you for all that you do coming down there every Tuesday. Thank you, Robin. in the uh, Senate obviously need your help. Our backs are against the wall. We're 22 strong. We're 22 folks who, who as my leader, uh, Dick Sasso, likes to say, if we lose the Senate, we become Mississippi. <laughs> and, and that is very true. We do become Mississippi. Because all those ugly bills, all those anti-immigration, so-called anti-immigration bills, which are really discrimination in disguise, come, through, come out of the House. We don't have any way to stop them. If you think things were bad for uh, uh, people who are, who are gay, let us lose the Senate. It will get awful. It will get a, a thousand times worse. And so we have to hold on to the Senate. And we thank you all for being wise enough and, and savvy enough to try to raise some money to help us do just that. Uh, we're going to do it. Uh, we've got 22 great districts. And believe you me, I believe we're coming back with 23 or 24 Democrats. And when we do, it will be in large part because of the hard work that you all are doing right now, raising the money. It will be in large part because of the hard work that you all will do going door to door. It will be in large part because of the hard work that you all do making sure that people get to the polls. So thank you. Don't let up. I have now claimed it, but I need you all to make that prophecy come true. I need you all to keep doing what you're doing. I need you all to keep doing more than what you're doing. And if we do that, we will be 23 or 24 Democrats in the Senate. We'll pick up seats in the House, and then we'll really be fortified to fight back against the, the, the Gilmore. I'm sorry, did I just say Gilmore? <laughs> Flashback. <laughs> the, the governor's agenda, Cuccinelli's agenda, and Bill Bowling's agenda. We can fight them back, but we need your help, and thank you for all that you've done in that regard. Now, the fun part. They have charged me with introducing Terry McCullough. Terry and I have gotten used to this by now. Um, he, he is, we call it the Irish caucus. <laughs> and, uh, um, I think the thing I like about Terry the most, and the thing that I admire about Terry the most, is he's got a bunch of ideas. And he's good at articulating his ideas. So good, as a matter of fact, that if you let him go on a roll, it's like trying to drink water out of a fire hose. <laughs> I, I have confessed this before Terry before, and I will say it before this group. I have been known to take ideas off of Terry's website and just offer them as legislation because he has such a rich <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I have no pride. <laughs> because, he, <laughs> because he has such a, a good wealth of ideas that really do need to have here have an airing and a hearing and be articulated before 
whatever happens in 2013, whatever happens on that happy day in January of 2014. Um, so without further ado, he won't tell me how I should introduce him yet. I don't think I'm supposed to say the next anything yet, but how about our friend Terry McCollum? Right.